Hey guys, it's Steeman here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new game called Machiavillain. And in this game, you build your own mansion with a group of minions, and you try to lure some unsuspecting civilians to their deaths. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but you can get pretty creative in the way that you do that, and you guys will probably notice some similarities between this game and games like Prison Architect, if you've played that, or even RimWorld, and Oxygen Not Included. And before we get started, I just wanted to thank the developers Wild Factor and the publisher Good Shepherd Entertainment for giving me a review copy of this game. I really appreciate it. Alright, um, there is a cutscene at the front at the start of the game. So I'll put a little time code if you want to skip that, but it is pretty cool. So I'll let you guys watch it if you want to. Being a minion, what a dream job. First class evil boss, a steady supply of stupid victims guaranteed. Murder and mayhem every day. What a beautiful life. Or not. The boss was an exploitative douche and really life sucks. So one clever minion rose from their miserable minion dition and applied to the League of Machiavellian Villains. It cost them an arm and a leg. Well somebody else's but it was worth it because one night an evil owl bursts through the window bringing the most important and only letter of the minion's life congratulations lowly minion your application to the league of machiavellian villains has been approved under conditions please bring this letter to the department of evil domains to receive your plot of evil land and further instructions dishonestly yours the league of machiavellian villains at last the minions days of servitude are over no more unpaid overtime no more scrubbing toilets but before the minion departs one last evil deed no! and now to become the biggest baddest, most powerful villain ever. <laughs> yeah, this is taking forever. How dare they delay my evil, evil plans. I shall make them pay. I just... I just don't want to lose my place in line. They will pay later. But then they'll pay with interest. <laughs> Nick. Oh, that's me. Now my reign of evil can begin. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Dearest Demon Rebuild, in addition to your evil domain, the Machiavellian League of Villains is giving you three minions to start your domain. Don't lose them. Fair warning, the above mentioned minions are brain dead. They will not do anything unless ordered to. You will soon receive another letter with our code of dishonor if you've managed to survive until then. Murderously yours, the Machiavellian League of Villains. Cool. Alright, so we have to choose three starting villains. And we'll unlock more as we go. So we have two zombies to choose from. Two mummies. Wait, three zombies and two mummies. Alright. So I guess we're going to end up choosing a zombie. Let's pick the best one, shall we? Let's see. Uh, this guy seems to be a bit of an all-rounder, so we'll pick him. They all have the same... Oh no, they don't have... This guy has better resistance, but he doesn't have very good jobs. These level up in time anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, this guy is good at bringing resources, whatever. <laughs> See, they, they eat different food. I wish we had a couple of different guys. There are some good ones. Oh well. This guy eats eight. 
Let's hire you. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Let's just get you as well. Team is full. Okay, cool. Oh, maybe we could have shuffled. Oh, whoops. <laughs> doesn't matter. Follow the instructions from uh, whatever. Cool. So now we get all these things. So I'm just going to pause it. Uh, close you. Close that. Alright, so first things first. Probably want to explore a little bit. See what we've got. Look for some space. We seem to have a little bit of space here, but we've got all that rock. So we can't really do too much there without getting rid of that. The last time I played this game on my own, I had a bunch of evil trees. I don't know if we'll see them yet. But they really make things a bit difficult. So this place is not too bad. I've just got all my food dumped on the road. <laughs> hmm. And you... There's a lot of trees here. I think I might start building... I wanted to build up. <laughs> I feel like it's easier just on the eyes to look up as as opposed to looking down. But... I don't know. I could go over here. It's a little bit far away. Normally the mailbox is over here. I'll show you, the, see if I can find the mailbox. Maybe there's some space over near there. See, these are the evil trees I was telling you about. They're not very nice. Alright, there you go. There's a mailbox. Oh, what? They spawn? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay. So. Fine, we'll just build here. It's fine. Let's get them something to do. So at the moment they don't have anything to do, so we'll tell them they can all build, they can all dig. Oh, these guys only have three jobs. Great. <laughs> They're not even that useful. And what else can they do? They can... you can store resources, I guess. Damn. We might... we can probably sell them <laughs> if they're not any good. So we're going to chop some wood. Let's just chop all this wood over here for now. Extra instructions. That's okay. Yeah, let's just get that started. So you can see on the left, we have all our resources at the moment. We don't have much. It's mostly the food that we started with. And you know what? I'll just get you guys to chop. You can just chop over there. While I figure out what I'm going to do. Build a room. Yeah, okay. So we're going to start with a basic room. Just looking if there's any... There's no real difference between these. They all have Prestige 10, which is like the oxygen not included version of decor. So we'll just start with the basic. Make like a little foyer. I guess. So like an entrance room. Build a writing desk. Yeah, we don't need to do that just yet. Alright. That doesn't look good. Hold on a second. <laughs> what did I do there? I thought I was making a square. <laughs> That's more like it. And we need a door in there as well. Doors. Put a door in there. Uh, we need a place for them to sleep. But they like to sleep on their own. So if you make them sleep all in one room, they get upset. So I guess one of the first things we should do 
is make some bedrooms. Let's see. They don't need to be that big. So if I I could probably fit uh one. I'll probably just go like that. We'll start like that and we'll just build onto it as we go. They have to take all the wood to where they build, so it can take a little while. So if this is the foyer, we probably want... Do we want a door going straight into there? We'll, we'll do that for now. That can be the bedroom. We've got... 1600 wood already. <laughs> Probably gonna have to dig that out at some stage. If you see the jobs, it's also got a priority. So the things that are over here, they'll do first. So I probably want... Yeah, you want building to be first, then chopping, then digging. Okay, so it's pretty fine. It's good for now. Although, in future, I will move some of these things across. Alright, um, so, we're gonna eat some food, cool. Let's make some beds. Um, so if I put them like that, one there, then I'll have a wall there. Let's make them, we'll start with nice rooms. Let's see if we can keep them happy. I'm just gonna sleep on the floor. All right, that's two. That's three. Actually, let's remove that. We'll put it up against the wall. That looks a bit better. The reason why I'm doing this is I started my last game, it, I didn't really make a house at all. I just put like different rooms everywhere. This time I'll I'll make a proper house. It'll look a lot nicer. So doors, put three doors. They're pretty expensive these doors. Put some rooms. So the idea of this game is to lure some people. So once we're done with the bedrooms, Hurry up and sleep, guys. Once we're done with the bedrooms, I want to make... Um, you need to make... What was it? A writing desk. So I have to make a home office. Alright, they're going very fast. <laughs> so all you really need is a writing desk. And then you can start sending letters. And people will come to your house. So let's continue... That will be like the the corridor. And maybe we'll make the writing room over here. That's fine. So we'll put some walls around that. And the door in it's kind of the middle. <laughs> I don't know why they need to rebuild that. And was it home office? We want that in here. You can't really see that well, but I'm gonna put it put it in the corner there. All right, let's go. So while they're doing that, I can talk about this stuff. So you have a suspicion meter, and it's pretty intuitive. The more people you kill, the higher it gets. If it gets too high, people are suspicious of you and they may even come and try to take you down or try to attack you or whatever. So you don't want it getting too high unless you're prepared to deal with that. At the moment, I don't really have any, I'm not really in any risk of that going high. Um, this is the number of people I've killed, the number of days of food I have left, so I still have a lot of food left. Eight days of food. A thousand coins. Which is not a whole lot. 
You want to get more coins so that you can afford to buy things when people come through the road. And you also want to be able to buy some more... I was going to say more dupes, but more minions. When the time comes. So yeah, I'll just let them go about their business. They're doing some good work at the moment. I'm going to have to dig through all of this. There's some gold in there and metal. So it is stuff that we need, but... It just takes a long time to go through that. So you can see, as they... I got promoted, hey! Cool! Oh, because I built three rooms, okay. So now I can get one... I can hire one more minion. Which is really nice. Because I kind of need someone else. So I can get a mummy. I think I already had a mummy. And I already had a zombie, come on! I can hire a vampire, but they're... They're not so good for the start of the game because... Obviously they can't really go in the day. In the sunlight. So, that's not great. Um, I might hire another mummy. They're hard workers. They're fast and need little food. So, that's pretty good. It's also got four, four jobs assigned. Do any of these guys have more than four? This guy's got five. This girl's got five, rather. But, yeah, she's pretty high maintenance, I would say. So, let's go with Harriet Hart. I think they'll, we'll also get a bonus for having uh, more than one of the same person. It's a bit like Oxygen not included in the way that each of these guys have... They have loyalty, which is basically decor. And you have positive and negative attributes depending on their situation. So, you know, slept on a good bed, freshly hired, um, lives with another minion of the same type, ate without a table, stressed nature. So, yeah, it's similar in that regard, which is kind of nice. I like it. I mean, if you're going to be similar to any game, at least be similar to a game that's really good, right? <laughs> so, as you can see, we're kind of low on wood now, so we probably need to queue up a few more orders there. Um, I will build a door. I almost forgot the door. We're going to do that. And I'm going to put... So, this is going to be the foyer, I guess the corridor I haven't really unlocked any what is this flagstones floor for that upscale look and feel nice that's pretty cool <laughs> stone wall wow all right so you can see that's got um, 30 prestige as opposed to this wall which is 10 prestige so, you do get benefits for building that stuff, but we don't have any stone, so we can't even... We've got 30 stone. We have no metal. You need metal. You get metal from these things. Alright, um, we need to queue up an ad campaign, but before we do that, let's make some letters. So, we'll make... Five letters or so? Make some letters. We need to make sure that someone is actually going to do that. Oh, this guy. I forgot to give him any jobs. Okay. Well, he seems to be good at making letters, so... Harriet can do that. Uh, also, like Oxygen Not Included, you can give this a higher priority. But I'm just going to leave it on normal. And I'll change the priority... Like this. So that they do that first. Because we, that's the, how you get food. That's how you get gold. And it's kind of important. So there's Harriet. <laughs> She's going to take some gold and a piece of wood. And make some letters. Oh, they don't have a bedroom. Right. Okay. Um, where can I put the bedroom? 
Huh. I could put it. Jeez, all this stuff is in the way. Let's put this a higher priority for tomorrow so that they get through that and then I'll make a, a bed for Harriet. She probably doesn't need to sleep yet anyway, because we just got her. Alright, so now we'll choose an ad campaign. We have four letters. So the, the earliest campaign needs five letters and we'll get two victims every day and they're just basic victims. And the loot you get from that is just a tiny bit of gold, some brains, some meat, some blood, and some bones. So I think we'll just start with that one. So here's the um, the delivery system. So you make five letters, you ride your bike down to the mailbox, and <laughs> you post the letters. Okay. We've got four hours to do that before the next mail collection. I think we'll get that done. Alright, so now she's taking her bike. <laughs> Ride down to the mailbox, put them in there. Alright, so we will get some some people visiting us, I guess. We may need to hide all this stuff. <laughs> trying to think where we could put that. Um... Uh, I don't think we need to worry about it just yet. Victims are coming soon. Alright, our first victims. Sucks that you had to sleep on the floor there. <laughs> We're working on clearing this so you can sleep somewhere. If we have any luck, they'll come in the front door. Victims are coming. Victims are coming. Alright. So, make them stop all their jobs. And we get everyone... Just go in the home office. Let's see where these victims go. They'll probably get scared of all the food on the floor. <gasps> Here we go. We got our first two victims. Alright. I'll get you two to attack that guy and you two to attack that guy wait what? yeah okay it's all good <laughs> cool alright so now we need a butcher table see we get plus 10 suspicion for each one we killed so now we have we had 20 suspicion but it goes down over time alright so Next rooms, we need a bedroom and we need a kitchen. So everyone can go back to their work. And on top of that, we need to clean that up. So we need someone who will do the maintenance. Let's see, who is good at doing that? Not the letter writer. So maybe Robin can do that. And we'll put maintenance above that, because we want them to do that first. So Robin's going to go clean that up. You guys are still doing that. Alright, I'm going to make a room over here. Is that how big it was? It was one, two, three, one, two, three. So... Yeah, I think that's right. I'll just zone that out. There you go. And... What was I doing? Oh yeah, door. Summons! What is this? Oh, I got promoted. Cool. Thanks for that. Butcher table, yeah. Writing desk, we did that. Okay. 
I'll keep the butcher table there as a reminder. I've been summoned. Cool. Let's go. Hello. You killed your first victim. Your contract of evilness is ready. We just need your signature with certified human blood ink and you will be good to go. Okay. I'll take that. Alright. Contract with the League of Machia Villain Villains. Contract is a binding legal agreement made between... No, I'm not going to read all that. The rules... Um, each of these five rules, you do get a bonus if you follow them. So, if you kill all the victims, you get a little bonus. If you kill victims when they're alone, you get a bonus. Um, victim must kill the virgin last. I've, ne I've not seen that yet. <laughs> victim should be killed at night. And do not kill the dog. Okay. <laughs> So th those are more late game ones that you need to keep in mind. Okay. So I signed that. I agreed to that. Now, apparently this is a bedroom. I'm not sure why. I need to make a... A butcher place. So... We should get that constructed. See, the food spoils when you don't butcher it in time so it is important that you that you butcher the food I'll tell you what the house is coming together pretty nicely got a bed for Harriet over there okay so they're all idle let's I'm just gonna make it like a tiny room for butchering it for now, and we can expand it later. Yep. And we'll put floors. And a door in there. And for the kitchen, we need a butcher's table. We'll just chuck it there. Easy. Wait, can we build the butcher's table? Just need to check that. Yeah, just a hundred wood. Okay. Unlike oxygen not included, it doesn't check if you have the resources until they need to build it. Whereas in oxygen not included, it won't let you place the construction until you have the resources. So. bit different in that way all right good stuff uh, we need to make a butcher who's gonna be our resident butcher uh, <laughs> who's our butcher where is it our oh, kitchen I guess it should be you the maintenance dude that's kind of good so, butcher first, then clean, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps telling me to do that. I did that. Now, just finish off those two doors, or walls, rather. Someone's idol, Kendra. Kendra, Kendra. Alright, let's give you some, some things to do. Let's give you some things to do. You could do that. And why don't you just dig all of that out? Is someone making this stuff? Robin. Robin, Robin, Robin. What are you doing? Kitchen. Why can't you do this? Did it all rot? It might might have rotten. You know what we should make as well? We should make just a couple of places to store all the stuff. Oh, look at this stuff. A bookshelf, TV, lamps. Lovely. 
Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, don't forget to give this video a lot of love if you want to see more of this game. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Take care.